hey what's going on guys welcome back to our youtube channel and welcome to this video this is john from samax code and in this video guys we're gonna talk about adding controllers into our java effects uh fxml files and also we're gonna talk about java effects application structure so in general guys a java effects application will have three major components um, namely stage scene and nodes as shown in this particular diagram so basically a stage or a window contains all the objects of a JavaFX application and it is represented by stage class of the package JavaFX.stage. And of course, I guess the primary stage is created by the platform itself, so we don't have to worry about that. And the created stage is passed as an argument, as you can see with our application or a sample application. The created primary stage is passed as an argument by this particular start method of the application class okay so the next one is scene so scene represents the physical contents of our javafx application so it contains all the contents of a scene graph and the class scene of the package javafx that scene represents the scene object so at an instance the scene object is added to only one stage so as you can see here that this particular scene is added to this particular stage. So to display something inside the JavaFX application window, we must add this scene to the stage object. And this is done inside the start method. And of course, it goes to say that all components to be displayed inside the JavaFX application must be located inside a scene. So as you can see, the names here, stage and scene, are inspired by a theater. So a stage can display multiple scenes, right? Just like in a theater play. So similarly, a computer game could have a menu scene, a game scene, or a game over scene, or a high score uh, scene, or more. And basically, we're try, we will try to do that later on, how to switch between scenes. So, for example, as I've mentioned, if you have multiple scenes in your um, application, okay? So, for now, let's just talk about the scene graph. So, basically, the scene graph consists of all the nodes which are attached to a given JavaFX uh, scene object. And, of course, each scene object has its own scene graph. So there will be like elements, for example, buttons, checkbox, text area, and so on. Now that we're done with our discussion on JavaFX application structure, let's move on to the next topic, which is adding controllers into our FXML file. So in order for us to do that, let's go to our NetBeans IDE and try to create a new project. So basically, we're not going to use any existing project right here because uh, I think it's better for you or for us to create a new project for you to understand or better understand how to add controllers into our fxml file so the first thing that we're going to need of course is to create a new project by just pressing this option and i think we can select also the fxml application for us to do that um, we could also select the javafx application instead of the javafx fxml application so we're doing manual or the manual creation of our project here. As I've said, for you to understand the basics of creating and adding controllers into our FXML file. So let's just name it JavaFX Demo. JavaFX Demo 2. And um, create application class. Uh, we can create JavaFX Demo 2 and then JavaFX Demo 2 class and then click on finish okay so here's our new project and then uh, under resource or source packages we can see here the main class of our JavaFX application and of course we have this um, code or default code if you try to run this we can say a window with the button um, hello world 
and this is just a basic application or java effects application okay but it is not using currently it is not using fxml file so let's just uh, modify this add a new fxml file okay so this is uh, this will be the demo fxml and click on next so under this particular option guys do not use or uncheck use java controller because i have uh, as i've said we will try to add the controller manually so click on next and uh, uncheck also this option use cascading style sheets click on finish and then we now have the basic structure of our demo.fxml file so we can get rid of this code right here so instead of using stack pane we will get rid of this and um, yeah we're not gonna use bot button for now so in here we can say instead of using stack pane we're gonna use parent class parent and then the standard loader for fxml will be fxml loader that um, load and then we're just gonna specify the location of our fxml uh, file so we're gonna use get class and then dot get resource and then of course the name of our fxml file which is demo.fxml so demo.fxml and of course we need to close this one with the semicolon and import and of course we need to uh, throw the clause for javafx uh, exception okay and let's try to run this We need to refresh or I mean clean a build for first before um, running our application. Okay, and then run. So there you go, our uh, simple application with the low world title. And of course, we're gonna add the button right here for our application. So basically, we want to add or I mean we want to open this using the scene builder application okay so this is the basic window that we have and we can add the button right here button and we can uh, resize this and maybe we can say this button is for uh, generating random numbers okay something like that so basically for now we don't have any controller for our class or i mean fxml file right so all we have to do now is create a controller okay so all we have to do is right click our package and the new and then java class and of course so for example the main controller as I've mentioned from, from the previous video, this is just a file that will try to do things for our demo.fxml uh, file because as I've said, this is just the layout and this will be the back end or the back code for this particular file demo.fxml. So now that we have that, we can try to add this main controller into our uh, fxml we can try that by scene builder so all we have to do is click on this and then we have here the option controller right here and then we can say here main controller okay you can uh, press enter and then save to make the changes uh, to reflect the changes that we have made so let's go back here and then yes demo so again you can see that we're getting an error because uh, it is complaining that the class does not exist 
the problem with this is because we did not we did not specify the package so all we have to do now is just specify the package so instead of just um, main controller it should be java fx demo 2 and then that main controller so that will be java fx demo 2 and then that main controller so save that and let's go back to our netbeans ide and as you can see here now we don't have problems with our controller so the next step guys we can try to make this work the button if you try to click on this i'm planning to uh, have a generate or like generate a random number when we try to click this generate button so generate and then of course we can um try adding the id for our co uh, i mean button so this will be btn generate btn generate as you can see there and then the on action will be handle uh, button action enter and then save and the good thing about this guys is we can as you can see here the, the, it is complaining that the on action event handle button action is not recognized or not found because in our main controller that java as you can see we don't have any logic any method or any properties in here so we can do what we can do is right click on our demo demo.fxml and then make controller and basically it will generate all the necessary method all the necessary properties for our demo.fxml and if we go back here there you go there will be no problem for our demo.fxml so main controller and then in here we can say um, if event that get source equals btn generate so basically we're just checking if the user clicks on this particular button so if the user generate or i mean click on this generate button so we can say random equals run equals new random so basically we're creating a random object right here we can import this and then generate a random number by using int and then number equals run dot next int and then plus one and we can say the limit is 100 and of course we can display this in our console by using system that out the print line the random number is and then the number variable so that's it and let's try to run our project but before that let's just uh, clean and build and there you go run our project so we're getting the layout mess up right now but it's not important for now um the problem with this because in our um JavaFX demo 2, we set the size at, as 300 by 250, but in our scene builder is uh, different because in our scene builder, it is, I think, uh, 600 by 400. So in order for us to solve that, we can just remove the specified height and width here. So run again, and we should get a bigger one with the proper alignment of our button and the window so every time we click this it should generate a random number so for example yeah 89 69 and 3 and 15 and 39 and 14 75 45 and 46 so i think that's all there is to it guys for this tutorial and in this video we have talked about the basics of application structure of javafx and of course the adding of controllers into our fxml file and generating the necessary methods and properties for us so that's it and thank you for watching and see you in the next video